What's up, gang? Case here with our at-home Metcon for Wednesday, January 20th. Short and fast one today. Eight-minute AMRAP, 10 push-ups for men, eight for women, then 10 rotational deadlift, 50 and 35 are the prescribed weight, and then finishing up with a new movement for most of us, a cross climber. It's like a knee plank, um, or not a knee plank, a plank with a knee to elbow, but you're crossing that knee over to the opposite elbow. On our push-ups today, uh, shorter sets, so definitely focus on full range of motion, getting that chest all the way down to the ground. Also, small detail here, but get those toes together because that's what's going to work that plank position uh, better. So for a perfect push-up, feet together, hands just under the shoulders, fingertips forward, put some outward twist pressure into those pinkies, quads, butt, and belly tight. Elbows stay close to the sides here in the bottom. Keep those quads off the ground, but touch that chest and belly, and then get back to full extension at the top. If you're not able to keep that plank, so if you feel your quads touching the ground, or you feel your chest and stomach not touching the ground, then elevate up to a box, still holding that same plank position. Hand and shoulder mechanics are the same, and when you lower, have your feet far enough back or far enough forward, but at that point where that box or that object is going to touch right there at your sternum. After that, we've got 10 rotational deadlifts. So we're twisting on that opposite toe. Try to push your hips back so you can flatten out your back a bit more and then make sure that belly's braced as you drive your legs through the ground, standing tall and stiff, straight forward in the middle, and then twisting the opposite toe as we come back down. Stand tall, push those hips back. This is a movement that's really easy to just let your back round out um, as you get tired. So you gotta focus on getting those hips down and back in order to be in a better position. After those, we've got 20 cross climbers. So you're gonna set up in a tall plank position, toes together, and then from here, try to contact your opposite knee to your elbow. And when you do this, try not to pike your hips or sag your hips too much. Keep hips at the same height as much as possible. That bottom hip's gonna roll under just a little bit, and you're gonna feel this through your core and through the sides of your core, through your obliques, quite a bit. On those, um, keep good technique. So if you get fatigued um, in the middle of the set, be sure to take a break and uh, take a few breaths, get back into it. Um, other than that, score today, is oh, one more thing, um, push the intensity on your push-ups, take your time a bit more on your rotational deadlifts and your cross climbers. Technique is definitely key on those movements and with that rotation, uh, it's really easy to get into a bad position. Um, other than that, score today will be rounds and reps. Good luck on this workout and we'll see you back on Friday uh, for some more strength and conditioning work.